Voices Voix brings together Canadians who are concerned by efforts of the federal government to silence those who oppose its policies. We have documented over 80 such cases. Environmental groups are under attack and vilified. Here's one story. Well, in Canada today, um, we have less environmental protection. We have less rights to be involved, less right to be involved in the decisions that affect future generations in terms of the environment and the economy than we had five years ago. Um, we have a government that's actively discouraging the public to support and, and listen to environmental organizations. Um, we have a front group for the Prime Minister's office that calls itself Ethical Oil. Um, and is totally tied to the, to the Prime Minister's office. Um, it's the first time in history that we've ever heard of a, a Prime Minister actually creating an astroturf or false in community group in order to test messages, uh, especially test negative messages against other citizens in the country. We were audited in, the, in January 2011 and were given a, a stamp of approval. So we felt, we felt very strongly that we were doing, doing things properly. Um, over the last year, we've received copies of three complaints from Ethical Oil. Um, Ethical Oil doesn't understand the difference between the Sierra Club of Canada and the Sierra Club of Canada Foundation. And as a result, they attribute everything that I say on behalf of Sierra Club Canada to be somehow related to the charity. Um, as a result, we've had these three complaints. Uh, to date, CRA hasn't picked up the phone or asked us about them. So we don't know how seriously they're being taken, but these are very, the, each of these documents was in excess of 60 pages. Um, the first two you can read on my website, on Sierra Club Watts Canada website. The third one will be posted shortly. The club is a not-for-profit, it's not, chari not a charity. We have every right to say whatever we think is appropriate to say, and we do. What I think in the long term what this is about, it's about trying to eliminate the ability of environmental organizations to speak out on important issues. Um, because making everything that we say be political um, and defining things as political, I don't believe that it's really political to say that it's not a good idea to build a pipeline because of climate change. Um, but groups like Ethical Oil consider that political. Um, I believe the government is starting to consider that political. And in fact, we might, what we might have seen different in the last few years is that the government is actually saying things, like this pipeline is in the interests of Canada. Um, that makes it a policy of the government. It makes it more difficult for a charity to, to raise issues about it because now it's a policy, and if you're opposed to it as a charity, then it's a political action and you can only limit, limit the amount of work you do on it to 10% of your total budget. I think over the long term, it's an effort to marginalize uh, any voices in society that don't agree with the governing party. And it's a very ominous, creeping sort of fascism that we should all be on the lookout for and finding ways to counteract. <laughs>